Welcome back. The BBC has announced the next host of Top Gear. Chris Evans will be taking over for Jeremy Clarkson, who was sacked early this year. And as CNN's Carol Jordan tells us, Evans' background is not too dissimilar to Clarkson's maverick antics. It's one of the most watched programs in the world. And now Top Gear has a new presenter. Television veteran Chris Evans, no, not this one, has just been handed one of the biggest roles in television. Taking over from a controversial but hugely successful presenting team led by one of the show's founders, Jeremy Clarkson. You're good. Clarkson was dropped from the show earlier this year after a physical altercation with one of his staff. And speculation has been raging ever since about who might take his place and whether the show could even continue without him. Change gear, change gear, change gear. On Tuesday, Evans himself tweeted the news about his new role, a statement saying that he was thrilled while he played homage to Clarkson and his team. He might not be Captain America, but Evans is huge in the UK. Hosting top-rated shows since the early 1990s, he became famous for his edgy presenting style, controversial gags and distinctive red hair. He also became a major player in the world of media, owning his own production company and radio station. But it hasn't all been bright lights and big paychecks. By 2001, accusations of heavy parting led to his sacking as a breakfast DJ. His most successful TV show, TFI Friday, had already been cancelled. And it looked as though Evans had been cast out to TV wilderness. But in 2010, the BBC took a risk on Evans, handing him the hugely important radio breakfast show slot. And he repaid them by amassing more than 9 million daily listeners. The same year, he returned to television presenting and his career took off again. An avid lover of cars, he had initially denied that he was an option for replacing Clarkson. But it looks like the lure of presenting one of the world's biggest shows has proved difficult to resist. Carol Jordan, CNN, London. A destroyed piece of Afghanistan's cultural heritage has been brought back to life in a new form. The Buddhas of Bemiyan have been recreated in their original location, but instead of stone, they were put together with light made possible by 3D projection. The Taliban blew up the statues 14 years ago. They dated back to the 6th century. Two Chinese documentarians decided to undertake the lighting project in an effort to honour the lost artwork. Experts estimate physically reconstructing the Buddhas would have cost about $30 million each. Well, that does it for us at CNN News Centre. I'm Linda Kincaid, live at CNN's World Headquarters. Thanks for joining me right here on CNN.